So blessed to see everyone this morning. I know it's been a crazy weekend with all the graduations and the graduates and celebrating so many people. How about a round of applause for all of our graduates 2019. <laughs> Tremendous milestone in their lives. So awesome. See Tiari here and we see, I know Amos somewhere, right? I'm assuming Amos in the back and we have Lelosa, Noy. Almost not here. What? A, you have something better to do? Or something? Uh, uh. Oh, okay, okay. I'll let that go. Okay. Who else? Do we, we have Noe, Shayla. Anybody we're missing? Alana, Alana, Lelosa. Well, this is probably the biggest youth class of graduates that we've had in a long, long time, right? <laughs> praise God for the graduates. Praise God for Sister Robin and her ministry for being there with all the kids and stuff and it's such a tremendous uh, honor to to go to uh, graduation and remember it brings back memories for a lot of us that went through that opportunity or had that opportunity as well I know Waipao High School probably my first graduation in that Waipao since probably the time we went and there was so many people so many people uh, but you see a lot of family and friends come together to show respect, show honor to, to the achievements of these graduates and these students. That's what we're going to do today, this morning, as we come together as a family in Christ, under His kingdom, or in His kingdom, to give God the glory and the honor. Driving into church today, my son shared a little word with me, and I kind of was wondering out of the blue, my Austin Ray said, Dad... You know, think about the land that we live in. We look at it, maybe you look at it from uh, above, look at it on a map. Hawaiian Islands is very small compared to the world. But he said when we're in our island, when we look around, it's huge. The island's huge. So I was thinking, I told, I told my son, I was pretty surprised. I was like, son, that's pretty deep. You know, I had to kind of receive what he was saying. And I was sharing with the worship team. I think that what God spoke to me when what he said was that you know in our ministries or never even in our little church we may think it's a small church we may think of the different ministries that we're in small ministries but what we don't realize is the effect of those ministries and the effect that our little church here in Kaneohe does to the nations in the world Nasi reminded me that that's our call is to make those ripples in the water touch lives we are touching lives every day in our workplace, in our marketplace, in our, in our lives, our daily lives, we are touching so many hearts and so many people. And don't, don't ever think that we are just insignificant, that God cannot do wonders in your life because God is going to touch you. And that's my message to the, to the graduates. You know, you guys are going to be touching a lot of lives. And God has brought you to this point and brought you and prepared you for that point. Your parents have prepared you for that point. Amen. So for everybody, don't think we cannot do nothing. We can do all things with a God that is possible of everything. He's a God of impossibilities. Regardless of how much times we say we cannot, he says we can. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this morning. Thank you for the breath in our lungs that we can get up today and just come here to church. Father God and his family and friends to just fellowship with one another. But most of all, to give you give you all of our worship and our praise and glorify your holy name father god for just being the mighty and awesome abba that you are we thank you father god for bringing our graduates to this point in their lives father god and we know and we as parents and family and friends we we give them out to you again father god for the next chapter in their lives that you have in store for them father god we thank you for their achievements we thank you for their their tremendous sacrifice father god and we also bless them bless the families as well father god and all that they've done but lord today is all about glorifying you as well father god we give you all that glory honor and praise hallelujah father god and all god's people say amen, amen. like i said we give god glory for the breath in our lungs so if you're breathing this morning we gotta give him praise amen so let's clap it up Turn to the people next to you and say, good morning. God loves you. Let everything. 
everything that everything that everything that has breath praise the lord that everything that everything that everything that has breath praise the lord that everything that everything that everything that has breath praise the lord that everything that everything that everything that has breath praise the lord praise you in the morning praise you in the evening Praise you when I'm young and when I'm old. Praise you when I'm laughing. Praise you when I'm grieving. Praise you every season of the soul. If we could see how much your worth, your power, your might, your endless love, then surely we would never cease to pray. Joining with the angels, praising you forever and a day. Praise you on the earth now, joining with creation, calling all your nations to your praise. If they could see how much your worth, your power, your might, your endless love, then surely we would never cease to praise. Last time, everybody, let everything, let everything that, everything that, everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let everything that, everything that, everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's give him that shout of praise this morning. We've got some visitors, our friend Ola Larry and his mother Tina, all the way from Las Vegas. Let's go around and greet everybody and welcome our visitors this morning. You give me that joy. You give me that joy like a river. You give me that mercy I never deserve. You give me that love, nothing better. You give me that sweet peace like never before. You give me that joy. You give me that joy like a river. You give me that mercy I never deserve. You give me that love. You give me that love, nothing better. You give me that sweet peace like never before. There's nobody like. There's nobody like God, like God. I'm talking about my God, my God. There's nobody like God, my God. I'm talking about my God, my God. You give me that joy. You give me that joy like a river. You give me that mercy I never deserve. You give me that love, nothing better. You give me that sweet peace like never before. You give me that joy. You give me that joy like a river. 
You give me that mercy I never deserve. You give me the love. You give me that love, love you never. You give me. You give me that sweet peace like never before. There's nobody like. There's nobody like God, like God. I'm talking about my God, my God. There's nobody like God, like God. I'm talking about my God, my God. Your love, your love is so amazing. Your love is so amazing. Your love is so incredible. Your love is so incredible. Your love is so amazing. Your love is so amazing. Your love is so incredible. Your love is so incredible. And I'll never get enough of your love, Jesus. Never get enough of your love. And I'll never get enough of your love, Lord. Never get enough of your love. I'll never get enough of your love, Jesus. Never get enough of your love. And I'll never get enough, never get enough, never. Never get enough, never get enough, never. And I'll never get enough of your love, Jesus. Never get enough of your love. And I'll never get enough of your love, Lord. Never get enough of your love. I'll never get enough of your love, Jesus. Never get enough of your love. And I'll never get enough, never get enough, never. Give me the joy. Never get enough, never get enough, never. Give me that joy like a river. Give me that mercy I never deserve. You give me that love, nothing better. You give me that sweet peace like never before. There's nobody, there's nobody like God, like God. Amen. I'm talking about my God, my God. There's nobody like God, like God. I'm talking about my God, my God. Your love is so amazing. Your love is so amazing. Your love is so amazing. Your love is so incredible. Your love is so incredible. Your love is so amazing. Your love is so amazing. Your love is so incredible. Your love is so incredible. And I never get enough of your love, Jesus. Never get enough of your love. And I never get enough of your love, Lord. Never get enough of your love. Never get enough of your love, Jesus. Never get enough of your love. And I never get enough, never get enough, never. Never get enough, never get enough, never. And I'll never get enough of your love, Jesus. Never get enough of your love. And I'll never get enough of your love, Lord. Never get enough of your love. I'll never get enough of your love, Jesus. Never get enough of your love. And I'll never get enough, never get enough, never. Never get enough, never. He's so good. 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 And all the time, God is great. God's word says in Jeremiah 29 11 that He has a plan for each of us. And His plan is not to harm us, but to prosper us. The plan is to give us hope and a future. And that's what our graduates are experiencing now is the next step in their future plan that God has for them, but also all of us together. God has a plan for us. And if we allow Him to be our way maker, if we allow Him, to put before us the plan that he has for us and if we trust in him when we put our trust in him and when we allow ourselves to follow him we'll see all the things that God has for us come out all the blessings that he has for us we will receive but we got to trust in him first 
We gotta trust that God already made that way. And we gotta follow his plan. Amen, church? Amen. Let's continue to honor our God this morning. Father, we lift you up in our praise and worship. We lift you up with our trust, with our love in you, Lord. We know that you have mighty plans for us, greater plans than we can ever imagine, Lord. And we want to love on you right now, Lord. And we want to thank you for these plans that you have because we know that it's to prosper us. It's not to harm us. And so we trust you. We praise you. We glorify your name, Jesus. Amen. Let's worship him. Wipe 
away your tears You mend the broken heart You're the answer to it all Jesus You wipe away your tears You mend the broken heart You're the answer to it all Call out his name, church Jesus Miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Sing way maker, way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Let's lift his name on high. Way maker, miracle worker. Promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Let's sing that again, Waymaker. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are here, touching every life. I worship you, I worship you, you are here, meeting every need, I worship you, I worship you. Sing that one last time, church. You are here, touching every life. I worship you, I worship you, you are here, meeting every need, I worship you, I worship you. Last night, Leo introduced all the graduates and where they were going. And they were going to different parts of our country. And so I was thinking, wow, they're actually going out into our nations. I mean, each of them going into different parts of the states. Muna is already in the Philippines, just reaching out to the nations. And you know what? Even us here on Oahu, on, in Hawaii, we too can reach out to the nations in our marketplace, in our families, in our friends, in our sphere of influence. And so we know that Jesus is worthy of it all. Amen. Amen. Let's continue to worship him this morning. Hallelujah. Bye. 
the blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, you, you're worth it all. Shout of praise this morning. Yes, he is worthy to be praised. Amen. Come on, sing. All the nations, all the nations, they will come. Holding broken chains above their heads. Singing, we have overcome by the blood of the
As we were um, just enjoying a time of worship and, and uh, being in the Father's presence, we were singing that uh, last song about every chain. Whew. The nations would raise their chains and every chain would be broken. And I saw a heavenly chain. I saw a heavenly chain. And what I saw was arms linked together. Can you guys link your arms together? No, not the hands. Link your arms Link your arms together. Got to get in tight. Because the hand's easy to break, yeah? You know, those of us who are raised in the 80s, remember Red Rover, Red Rover? Yeah. If you had hands and you was holding one small person, easy for break. But if you unlock arms, hard for break to get you because you can use your shoulder to get that person up. The youngins are looking at me like, what is she talking about? We'll tell you later. But anyways, I saw in the heavenly realms this picture. I saw the picture of these arms linked together. But I didn't just see them. I saw all of y'all with your arms linked together. So can you guys stand up and link your arms? Because God is showing us a picture right now of his love. God is showing us a picture of his mercy, his grace, his healing, and how he brings the body of Christ together as one, but not just the body of Christ. He brings the heavenly realms to surround the body of Christ as one. In Psalms, Psalms 36, verse, uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Beginning in verse 5, it says, Your unfailing love, O Lord, is, a vast, is as vast as the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches beyond the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountains. Your justice like the ocean depths. You care for your people and animals alike, O Lord. How precious is your unfailing love, O God. All humanity finds shelter in the shadow of your wings. You feed them from the abundance of your own house, letting them drink from your river of delight. For you are the fountain of life, the light by which we see. And this is what we see right here. We see this 
unending circle. We see this chain, not just of the body of Christ, not just of, of the sons and daughters of Christ, but the family of God, the family of God, the heavenly host doing the same, locking arms, and he cares for every single one of you. Every single one of you have a vast cloud of heavenly hosts and the body of Christ circled around you with his love, circled around you with his unfailing love and his faithfulness. And the river of life is being poured out on you. And that's what we pray for your May babies, Father God. We thank you. We thank you for your sons and your daughters. We thank you that you wrote out a perfect plan when you knit them together in their mother's womb. We thank you, Father God, that you are the God who loves them unconditionally, that regardless of the choices we make in this life, Father God, you never let your arms go that your arms are securely wrapped around your beloved, that they don't ever have to look to the left, to the right, to the back, to the front, to wonder if you're there because you are holding them. You care for them so deeply, Father God. And so we bless, Lord God, your sons and your daughters. We thank you for their lives. We thank you for what you have for them. We thank you for the purposes that, that you have wrote out for them. And we pray for those to come to fruition, Father God, for them to see it in the light of day father God for them to love who they are in you father God for them to love Lord God what you doing in their life and the and the plans you have for their life I thank you father God for your river that flows so freely for them Lord God that they can drink of your fountain and never thirst again we thank you Lord Jesus we thank you, Lord Jesus, for setting the example of your love to walk in obedience, Lord God, that as your sons and daughters walk in obedience, live in their calling, Father God, you release heaven over them. You release your glory over them. You baptize them in your love and you continue to guide them along their path. So we bless your sons and your daughters and we bless. And just as the Abrahamic covenant just doesn't just cover one household, we bless every household in the circle of this chain right now. Hide us in the shadow of your wings right now, Abba. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. <laughs>